Warning! This podcast contains Jeremiah. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCN on TV podcast for Supergirl Season 2, Episode 14, Homecoming. I'm your host, Dom. With me, we have Nikki and Rachel. How's it going? Going. Yeah, it's going. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, getting our Chris Wood fill in tonight. Oh, God. He had no shirt on. (laughs) He had just his underwear on. Uh Uh-huh. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> uh I'm, I'm i'm sad that, that chrissy's not here now then we would really get her opinion on on chris wood in all his glory <laughs> um yeah no we get this and then and then the show after uh vampire Diaries, we also have another chris wood show so full mm-hmm. full chris wood docket tonight um so yeah <laughs> he's like i'm okay with this <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, totally right off the bat, we jumped into it. Kara and, uh, and Monel got yeah. it on. They truly, truly did. They broke the table like four or five times, or what was it? No, no, less than five times. So, definitely. No, no, no. It wasn't the table. It was, it was, Kara said that, um, she broke someone's nose. Like, it was a high school boyfriend, or it was like growing up, first kisses kind of deal. Broke less than five people's noses. That's, that's what she said. I, I could have swear it was just the table. I think I thought she said nose too. Probably bumping noses. Crack. Um, yeah. Okay. When, when when she went in for the kiss, and she goes, "Oh, it feels really good not to break someone's nose." And he goes, "What?" And she goes, "Yeah, I've done that less than five times." And she goes, "He or Monel goes, so you broke four people's four. noses four four times." Okay. Yeah, so. But they're so cute. I mean, she was so happy. She just went out and saved I mean, the puppy. And <laughs> I, see, at first, when he woke up and he's like, oh, good morning, and she wasn't there, I was like, well, that's typical. And then he, you, he walks into the, the living area, the kitchen area, and the TV's on. And it's telling everybody, like, Supergirl did this, Supergirl did this. I'm like, oh, she's feeling regret. This is She went out. She's doing all the superhero stuff. She's saving puppies because she regretted last night. And then she comes in. She's like, I got you flowers. And I'm like, you got a no, guy flowers. she was flowers. so happy. She was so happy that she just went out and did this stuff. She was just like, hey, hey. yeah. I, well, I, I, love, I thought it was. I love the thing. vase that he put them in. Right? You mean the a lamp? lamp? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, uh, it, and all she did was laugh it off, which was great because, was fantastic. you know. Fantastic. Fantastic. I hated Kara a lot less this episode than um, all the rest of the episodes this season. <laughs> yeah. No, their dynamic, I think, is great together. Yeah, it is. I, I really, really like it. Um, Ten seconds. <laughs> you lasted... Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> that was hilarious. I knew he wasn't going to be able to because he's not that type of person. They sat there going, like, don't don't say anything. I, and she actually, like, it wasn't just a bullshit reason. Like, she had actual reasons for it, you know? So I was like, okay, good for you, Kara. You didn't, like, try to just play it off, you know, like, you have some, like, secret agenda and it's, it's you that you don't know if you like him or whatever. No, you had an actual reason. Like, bravo to you, and bravo to you for telling him. Well, yeah, sometimes, you know, and you then, keep, and then, when you first start a relationship, you just want to keep it secret, just between the two of you for a while before you announce it to the world. Yeah, yeah. He lasted ten seconds. And then, and then, bravo <laughs> to you, Chris Wood, Monel, for just blurting it out the minute you walk through the, the DEO doors. He's not a oh, like, kind of guy i don't think like when it comes to that kind of stuff i mean we know he has a big secret because jeremiah was on his case this episode Mm. but i just love that he's like you're lucky we didn't have a parade for you (laughs) yeah back on i was like uh, i want to see that when you see that parade that would have been fantastic they throw parties when people get together you're lucky i didn't throw a parade (laughs) yeah i definitely want to see like a macy's day float going by the deo like that would have been fantastic I giant love when they, giant balloons of right? Monel and and Kara, like oh my god! And I just love the deadpan face on John Jones. She's like, "Can we just pretend we did?" And he's like, "I wish we did it." 
that you're gonna have to go down to HR. She says, We have an HR. <laughs> I, I didn't know that Monel was officially working with the DEO. I thought he was just kind of like there and training and stuff, but I guess he is. So, what's funny is that their HR person's name's Pam, and if you watch Archer, the HR person is Pam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just started. I was like, oh god, does she have a dolphin pet? Something. <laughs> if we ever I, see one, I need one, to finish Archer. <laughs> if we ever see we one, that'd to- be fantastic. We need to see what Pam Pam looks like. We really do. No, but I just love the fact that they were so deadpan about it. They're just like, you need to go fill out the paperwork. and Intricately. Not just fill it out. It has to be intricately. uh, Alex was like, yeah, now you guys get to go to a sexual harassment class. And she walks away. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, they weren't joking. Uh -uh. (laughs) There, There was no joke there. No. And then he, he was like, well, I'll meet you in the training room. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, he knew he's like his ass kicked. It's like, oh, well. Yeah, but then we yeah, get a, a special, like, uh, warning thing, whatever, that Cadmus is, is transferring uh, something from a facility or whatever. So they go they go and investigate Kara and uh, John just go immediately. Like, they just leave, they go, they send back up, whatever. Two of them get there, they, they take the, the truck apart, and Jeremiah is inside. And it's just like... Monel is all like this was way too easy. Like he has been every right off to the that. radar for fifteen years, and you've never heard hide nor hair of him. And now it's like a big announcement in a parade, almost. To, you know, mm-hmm. to to ship him out of there. And uh, he had every reason to be worried. He really did. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and they weren't thinking. I mean. They were just thinking, "Oh my God, my dad's that kind of thing," and right. I understand that. Um, understand that emotion with that takeover, but at the same time, you're in a very volatile time yeah. where shit's going down, and if you're not thinking things rationally, the thing crap is, like this is going to happen. The thing is, like at first, everybody's mad at Monel, and I'm like, "You guys should not be mad at Monel. Like, you have to no. give him the the reasonable doubt." And then, like Alex is sitting there firing back at Kara and being like, "I can't believe you're so you're in the honeymoon stage and all this." But I'm like, "I'm actually not mad at Alex either because I I kind of get where she's you know she's coming from. It's like, oh yeah, we're family. You're supposed to trust in family. Like family comes first. You know all that stuff. I get that." I do. Car didn't go af- uh, go to Alex until after Wynn and Monel said, "Hey, we caught him breaking into the computer system." Right. And Car went to Alex after that, saying, "We kind of have proof." And Alex still went down her throat, well, like just Alex started was clawing. already Alex was already agitated because Monel jumped down their throat at a at a welcome home dinner. Right, that was That's a true. little well, inappropriate quite, from, from Monel. A little, but there were, there were, those were very valid questions. They were, but they it are. was not the time for them. No, it wasn't the time, but, right. you know, Mono. Oh so, he, yeah, he course, lasted 10 course. seconds. Of course. No, I, I get that. <laughs> so my, my point is, it could have been handled better on Monel's part, right? And and oh, because of, of the way it was handled, that started a chain of events off on Alex, who, who was just really, really agitated, really angry already. Then she goes into the DEO and finds out that Wynn is spying on her father, right? And then Alex is siding with him, and then... They they find out the reason why he's doing it was to to go in and see the car's cases, you know, and, and stuff like that, which seemed like a legitimate reason. So after that was was said, yeah, now Alex is really mad, right? And then well, yeah, and then when Kara came to her and said, "Well, we are right here. Why didn't he ask us? Mm-hmm. We are yeah. the living, we are the breathing. We're, we could tell him what these documents or what these in you know classified oh, yeah. things." But at that I can't point, tell him. at it's that just point, ridiculous. at that point, like it's already two strikes against them, and like Kari said, I know it's not baseball, but you know, it, they they basically because at the time before you know it was revealed what he was really doing at the time, he had a reason for going through those files. So now it seems like they were spying on him intentionally, and then when they call him out on it, and he has a legitimate reason, then it really looks like they're they're just trying to find a reason now. So I, still I don't blame Alex. Shit. I don't. I really, really don't. I you know, know she's looking for her at throwing, the her throwing in Kara's face. You know about family, which was basically I'm blood and you're not, was out of line. That was out of line. Oh yeah. 
Oh, definitely. I don't know. Alex is kind of like, she's kind of a time bomb. In every episode, we I never know what the fuck she's going to do. And I don't really like that. I like some predictability in a character. But then, like, when she is predictable, she's far too predictable and it's annoying. Mm. Like, she's like they, an they emotional need to, time bomb. <laughs> exactly. They need to find a middle ground with Alex. But, like, there's so much going on with her that it's impossible. So, like, Their between... father is a huge part of it their is. life. Though. He is. So he if, is. If there is any episode, any reason for Alex to be an emotional time bomb, this is it. The other ones, mm-hmm. not so much. I don't blame her for anything that happened here. I do not. Oh, no, we don't blame her, but, you know, there's times she just... <laughs> In this kind of situation, you need to step back. Yeah, she and listen to, yeah, you need And you need to listen to people that are on the outside looking in. And as much as Mono, there's certain times he did them at the wrong time. He said things at the wrong time. I think in his heart of hearts, he was looking out for them. Oh, he was. He's look at he was he was he cares enough it's about them to like look Mr. out for them and Mixed know that something's wrong. Right. Yeah. Well, the way I'm looking at this is think of any friend that you have that has been in a really shitty relationship, and think of all the advice that gets thrown at them and how they don't listen. Right, yeah, exactly. and that's that's what Alex is here with her father. Like this is her father, um, you know. No matter what you're gonna say, like he's always done good by her. That it will never ever get through to her that there's a possibility that he's doing something to betray them. Never, like never get through it until she sees it for herself. Mm-hmm. It's the same way any of your friends are in those those terrible relationships. Right? I, I guess it's like I'm different. That's why like what she did this episode kind of got on my nerves is because, you know, if me, if I was in Alex's place, I would be worried the moment he walked in the door, not only for his physical mental condition, but he's been away for 15 years in an evil organization. What the fuck could have they done to him? You know, like that would have been going through my mind. But like, I don't think we he need went to like the, dig deep. Yeah. I don't think he went through the health screening thing either. Cause I think they would have found shit. I mean, how did they, they not find his, his arm? His arm? Like, what the... Like, Monel even Severe said, like, nerve, what, he just gets damage. to walk in? Yeah. He just he just gets to walk in. He, nobody's doing anything to him. Like, they gave him a little medical checkup and they, you know, bandaged up some wounds and stuff. Like, they didn't, like, send him through some, like, you know, TSA tracker bullshit with the x-ray. They didn't do any of that. They just let him in. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just Jeremiah. He's gonna be right back on track with everything. No, bitches. Check him out first. Mm-hmm. Right? Come on, I mean, uh, yeah, it is... But some should have been up on their radar. Yeah. When it was that easy to get him. Because it really was. It was really, really way too easy. Yep. It was. And they knew it was going to be. That's why Cadmus did it. Yeah. Because bec- because Kara and John and Alex, they're all blind to the fact that it's Jeremiah. That's why they did it. And even Wynn was a little bit hesitant too because, you know, he's friends with them. But then he's like, you know what? It was just a little weird that it was that easy. Hi, hi see... Wynn's friend. Yeah, right. Hi, Wynn's friend. <laughs> with Lyra? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. That, that was an interesting scene. Did not Those even care so to like... remember Monel's name. She is too obsessed and focused on Wynn. Hi, hi Wynn's so friend. Cool. They are just adorable. I love they them. They are, and it, it, bad things you know, are gonna happen. Exactly. That's what I'm like. I'm like, it's too good right now. It's gonna end badly. Well, it's not that. It's not that. It's the fact that Jeremiah just confirmed. We confirmed Jeremiah stole the uh, the alien registration list, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the known aliens, right? Oh boy. Win, wins dating an alien. Yeah, they're gonna see, see where that's going. Her. They're gonna target her. Yep. Not just no, her. Geez. Not just her. They're gonna target all of them. But she's she's gonna get caught. No, up in she, it. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be one of the top of the list because she's connected to someone in the DEO. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Well, all I know is how they're um, listed. I, I, I don't know Jer- if they're gonna be listed that way in the the. Li- I think it's just a registration. Here they are. This is where they're staying. This is where they're living. This is their occupation. Like I think that's what that list is. So I don't. I don't think they're like, I, this one I is dating a DEO agent or anything like that. I, I don't know if Cadmus would 
just randomly pick people off. I they, think they would actually Cadmus look whole, into it. No, Cadmus' whole thing is they want to eradicate aliens on the Earth. They want them all, all together. gone. Every doesn't single one of them. So it doesn't matter but who they, they are. They're targeting if they everybody. Can, if they can target um, a weakness in the DAO and get rid of Monel and Superman and Supergirl and stuff like that, well, why not focus like... on somebody who has a connection to the DEO? So because it I don't think that is in apart. the information that they took. I just don't think that information. They would look is there. into it. They have ways to look into things like that. Cadmus isn't just like, oh, we can't. We're just gonna start shooting. They're not. They have some logical reasoning. I don't think that's what that list is. Strategy. Though. I think that list is just so they can collect and take, kill, ship them off, whatever they're gonna do. In the preview it looked like they're they're loading them onto a vessel and shipping them off the planet. Um, but you know, it, it's just like there's a whole group of them. It's not anyone in particular. They're just grabbing everybody. Um, well, and also, it seems with Jeremiah and I can't remember right, Lily and whatever her name is, I don't like her. Yeah. But um, it seems like they have had a uh, a deal, and I'm wondering if this deal has anything to do with Kara because if they're getting rid of aliens, they're gonna get rid of Kara, and whether or not you know, even if he's working with them or not, he still has. Well, he, he, he still raised her. He seemed like he cut a deal with with her and yeah. i yeah. think the deal is to keep kara safe That's which, what I'm is, thinking. which but... is gonna go they're it's gonna go really against though. that they're gonna go against mm -hmm. the deal and that's that's what's gonna bring jeremiah home yeah i i was just gonna say like it's lillian she's gonna say yeah i'm gonna keep my word and not because mm -hmm. yeah that's of course a luther there you go oh, of course because she's lillian Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I just this is not gonna end well. And like I was saying, I don't know how he's going to Jeremiah, how he's going to you know, if he this does happen and he ends up turning against Cadmus, how he's gonna redeem himself for this. Because I can tell you right now, Liza's been is pissed because, you know, Alex told her. Of course. And she was already on her guard with him. Saying that you know you've been gone, we're different people. We've been you've been gone for like 14, 15 years. We're different people. We have to kind of get to know each other over again. Yeah. And he just wanted to jump right back in the sack, kind of thing. Yeah. She was like, "No." <laughs> you've been in Cadmus. You all dirty boy. You dirty. You know, and <laughs> and then Alex is not gonna. I I think she's gonna want to trust him, but she's not going. She's gonna have her guard up, big time. Yep. Even though she let him go because she's a retard. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is ways to wound him, to get him to stay, to turn him in. Then, I mean, was it either let him go or kill him? Right. I don't know. Uh, but in chat, uh, Brian uh, says, uh, I was more annoyed that no one was using their head when Jeremiah showed up except for Monel. You have to mm -hmm. remember last week when Monel kind of got all jealous and went off the handle a bit that um he's not really yep. the uh the person that you want to trust right now you know with with that hand the way he handles things uh if all that stuff didn't happen then yeah maybe maybe but like after seeing like him trying to kill uh uh mr mix yuspitalik um like that that whole deal there kind of made it so people are not instantly going to trust Monel um, when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, yeah, but still, it's really. I mean, and then they went even when questioned it, they should have. Yeah. yeah. They should have stopped and went. Well, if he is, I mean, they they've never not trusted Wynn. Why all of a sudden would you not believe him in his doubt kind of thing? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I understand they want to believe that their father's back. They haven't had their father, and it was very abrupt when he got taken away, you know, and stuff like that. I understand you got that hurt, and you want your dad back. Yeah. Oh, no, exactly, but, exactly. It's just, it, it's a very emotional kind of thing, and that's why I really can't, because this, this really is the only excuse I have for letting emotions get in the way when it comes to, you know, family and stuff like that, especially somebody you haven't seen in 15 years. So, mm-hmm. 
I honestly don't fault anybody here. Uh, like this episode, <clears throat> the, it, this is this is the way this would happen if this was real. You know, between a family, take all the alien stuff out of the the picture. Somebody comes uh-huh. back after fifteen years that was you know with a terrorist organization and stuff like that. That you know captured, kidnapped, held. You know anything like that. You know you're gonna have. Some, some members of the family that are just like I'm so glad he's home and that's all I care about and let's focus on that you're gonna have some members of the family be like well that was kind of easy that you just came back like that you know what what that's me I'm a worry word I'm, I'm a paranoid yeah. worry word so that would be me I'd be like oh halt wait wait we have we have questions <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not just and come back gonna, into my life you're gonna we have, have questions. you're gonna have members of your family that are like, what the hell are you trying to do? Like, he just came home. Like, you know that's going to happen. Like, that's, that's... Well, Liza was kind of like that. She wasn't like... I mean, she was welcoming him home because he was home. But at the same time, she was just like... Yeah. Slow it down. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, my point is, you're going to see this whole spectrum if this mm-hmm. was oh, real. Like, you're going to see all of this. So, for it to all happen here, it you can't get mad at anybody. That's the, that's the way no. it would happen. So, no, you can't. But, uh, you can get irritated with them. And, <laughs> and it, for Monel, Monel kind of going behind everybody's <clears throat> back and talking to Win and everything was probably the smartest move on his part. Because uh, Win is kind of like that neutral ground where mm-hmm. he's willing to help. He's going to keep an eye out. He's going to stick to the facts. He's not going to let emotions get in the way. He's kind of the perfect person to go to in that situation. Um, on top of that, getting advice for how to handle his relationship with Kara. Win surprisingly was the perfect person to go to for that. Like you saw how that worked out the in the best, end. Which he had is the best really advice. funny because Win went to Monel a couple episodes last episode and said, "Help me out." And Monel's <laughs> like, "Dude, I'm the worst person you can talk." To. And now right. Monel went to Win right. and actually got good advice, which yeah. is funny. Yep. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, and and seeing seeing Monel actually take his advice and listen. Well, and I mean, worked, at first it was a you know? str- it was a struggle for him because he wants to fix. He doesn't like seeing her that way. Right. He wants to fix it. He's like most guys; they want to fix it. If something's broken, they want to fix it. If someone hurts you, they want to fix it. They want to fix it instead of just being there and listening and just not doing anything. Yes, I don't think screwdrivers are going to do any good here. No, that's maybe how you, that's no, how you fix things. Not kind but, of no. But yeah, so but yeah, him actually, you could see the realization on his face all of a sudden. He just. When she looked at him, it was just, he was just like, <sighs> "I don't think hot sauce is gonna fix anything either. Probably make it worse." <laughs> no. But no, he did let out this big sign. He just sat down next to her. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Uh, what hot can sauce I do for you? Fixes everything that eat? I try to eat. So it fixes everything I try to eat. Um, yeah, it fixes your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was. It was honestly. It, it, was, it was fantastic. The bathroom every two on that. No, it was fantastic. Um, like just seeing them snuggle up on the couch, and and he's like, "This this is really all you want. This is this is what you need right now." And she's like, "Yeah." So maybe he's getting it. Maybe he's finally finally understanding. We'll see how long it lasts. But you know, I don't. And all, my question is, how does um, Jeremiah know who Monel is? Yeah, that that is the that's the big question right now. Is Jeremiah knows who Monel is. We don't mm-hmm. even know who Monel is. We have our guesses. Yeah, we have our theories, but we we have we, we don't we, know. We think he's royalty of Daxum, you know. Mm-hmm. And we also know his dad was a jerk. Yes. Yep. Because he says so much. Because my dad was evil. But she's like, you would do the same thing. I no, I would not. <laughs> I would not. I would have ran. But early, early, early on Supergirl. We saw uh, an item that was uh, recently tweeted out by Kevin Smith, who was just directing on there, right? We, we saw this lovely Since flight the, uh, ring. Last two weeks on the set of Supergirl. What if this is mon mm. He's been, um, like, posted another one on Facebook about it, and he tweeted out... <clears throat> So the last two weeks he's been on the set, so he's directed it, and Terry Hatcher's the bit, which is hilariously funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if anyone, you know, we got Jeremiah, and now we got <laughs> Lois Lane. Lane <laughs> is like, oh my yeah. god, no! I'm I'm interested to see what role she's gonna play in this. Yeah, 
I don't know. I think that ring is actually going to be a huge part to Monel. We're going to find out uh, some more information. That'd be really interesting, wouldn't it? That'd be yeah, very it interesting. Would. Kind of uh, out of left field. Like we should have should have put two and two together because that ring showed up about the same time Monel did. Um, but all we saw it was just like you know it was, it was a quick glimpse of it, and it was in was it in the Fortress of Solitude? I don't remember where we saw yeah, it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was so. In the um, I. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm. I mean, it's kind of cool. I knew that Kevin Smith was going to make the rounds to all these shows. I don't think he's done Arrow yet. Nope, and he's done gotta Flash. Him, we got to get him on Arrow. And he's done. He's done Legends. I think. I don't think he mistaken. suits Arrow. I don't know. I have to see. I think he could make it work. I'm pretty sure he could. Maybe if you made it he's, a lighter episode because of the darker tone. Well, he's, he doesn't, he's not, I don't think he's writing them. He's directing them. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's versatile when it comes to that. He's just lining up like the misconception about, Oh, so-and-so is directing. They're not writing the episode. They're the, sh- the shot should be this way. It should be this way. We get a close up. I mean, this, he'll, and, have you know. a, he'll have input on me. Well, maybe we should go this. It, it should be tweaked a little bit. You know, this, yeah, she'd be like this instead of this. It'll be like this He'll doesn't flow. What can we do to fix this? I was thinking this, and then you know, it's not like he has any creative control over it in that department. They have to be like, yes, that sounds better. Let's do this, or you know, whatever. And they might I film mean, it they anyway. They are, they you know, are going to take and, his input pretty high because he is like the major super yeah. comic book geek. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, he's not writing it. Yep. So. I don't know. Uh, you guys have anything else for this episode? Other than, no, James. Uh, than, uh, the... No, James again? Yeah, no, no James. James. No, Guardian. He's, he's That's two of... episodes in a row. I'm happy with this. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay See, with I w- it. See, I would have understood if mon wasn't in two episodes in a row uh, because he's been off doing the Vampire Diaries. I totally mm-hmm. would get that. Chris Wood's off doing that. But... What what is what is the actor who plays James up to? Like, why hasn't he been here for two weeks? I don't know. I don't follow him on Twitter or anything. So yeah, I don't I'm either. So I don't even know if he's a tweeter. Who knows? Oh, I don't even know the actor's name. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's, we're bad. We're horrible people. We are. Um, but next episode is called Exodus. Uh, as Alex searches for Jeremiah. And Kara investigates a series of alien kidnappings. The sisters realize they must break the rules to foil a new Cadmus plot. In an effort to get Snapper Carr to run a story that would help uh, help her stop Cadmus, Kara agrees to set up an interview between Snapper and Supergirl. Uh, oh God, he's gonna be one of those guys who's gonna be like, you know, he wears glasses too, right? He's just kind of like, he's going to peek at her like this and peek at her like this and keep doing this and be like, you look familiar. And he's going to be one of those guys that breaks the code and that she's going to have to get rid of him. No. Or she could just do what she did with Kat. (laughs) Exactly. Or she could do the same thing she did with Kat, just have John Jones come in and play. No, 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 no. Speak of John Jones. Speak of John Jones. For, For a psychic... That line he delivered at the end of the episode when he turns to to Supergirl and goes, "So what are you thinking?" Just didn't fit with me. I was just like, "Well, he doesn't. He doesn't. He can do it, but he doesn't actively do it because it's people's brain. He doesn't like go around reading people. Yeah, he, he doesn't. He knew about be... he knew about Alex and uh uh. If, okay, you're you're getting all. Now twisted about that when jeremiah came in why didn't he sense what the fuck jeremiah was up to and he said he was why can i not read your mind he was trying he was yeah. trying he goes why can't i read your mind there's i mean there's i think when he sensed alex it was more emotional he could see physical change and it was more emotional it was just oozing out of her kind of thing he doesn't actively go and read people's minds because he knows they're private but there are some times when sometimes it's just the emotion or the, the thought is just so big it just encompasses everything and it's hard not to read it. Yeah. It's kind of like listening to having someone talk on the phone in a buzzy, busy you know, train or something like that. You don't want to listen, but if they're talking loud enough, you're going to be hearing the conversation. Mm. 
you don't want to hear it. Sometimes I'm like, I don't, I didn't need to know that about you. And I don't know you and I don't want to know that, but they're talking really, really, really loud. And it's like, it's hard not to hear it. Yep. But yeah. So, but yeah, he did say, so obviously Jeremiah found a way to block John Jones's psychic stuff. Yeah. It, it's a Cadmus thing. They probably have some sort of implant, as well as his uh-huh. stupid freaking arm. <sighs> they put a chip in his head. Yep. Maybe. A blocker. All right. So uh, I think that's about it. Um, mm-hmm. Nikki, where can people find you? They can find me on Twitter at Lady Venom twenty four L A D Y V E N O M twenty four. Excellent. Rachel, where can the people find you? You can find me at Twitter at Viking Witch 726. Mm. Find me down below at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M. No Cleo. You can find us all on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, <laughs> and right here on YouTube. At <laughs> YouTube at slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. Till next time. Reading your mind, reading your mind. <laughs> you don't want to read my mind. Uh-uh.